Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. There is a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party happening tonight. So the park closes at six o'clock. It is four o'clock right now. So we're gonna have two hours to see what we can get done. I hear they brought back the pumpkin spice latte. So we might grab ourselves a nice pumpkin coffee, hang out on Main Street, ride some rides, and just have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is precisely 4 p.m. right now, so we have two hours to see what we can get done. There's a sign on the outside that says Magic Kingdom will close promptly at 6 p.m., and I'm just kind of excited to hang out for a little bit. I'm definitely excited to get a pumpkin spice latte. Tonight's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is sold out, and this is a big thing to point out. If you plan on coming to Disney World to vacation for either September or October, make sure you check the night that you come to Magic Kingdom. You don't want to come on a party night if you're not coming to the party. The park closes at 6. You don't get to do uh, any of the fireworks or anything like that, so make sure you schedule and plan accordingly. Today, I just kind of want to see what it's like before the party. You know what I mean? The beat, the, the, the pre-party. If there were tickets available for tonight's party, I would definitely stay. In fact, I think all of the nights are sold out all the way till October. And I also heard that this year's party sold out the most amount of nights out of any other party. So that's pretty epic. I'm really intrigued to see what the wait times for things are going to be like since the park closes in just two hours. But I'm just kind of happy to be here. I really wanted to come hang out at Magic Kingdom and everybody makes mistakes. So like I said, play it accordingly. Uh, me today, I didn't. I actually was just like, I want to go to Magic Kingdom today. And then I booked a reservation and I was like, uh oh, there's a party tonight. So I'm like, you know what? We're going to make the best of it. We're going to get a pumpkin spice latte and we're going to hang out at the Magic Kingdom and ride some rides. There's just something different about pumpkin spice lattes here at the Magic Kingdom. I don't know why. I mean, coffee on Main Street is just a thing on its own, but I get super excited when it's the Halloween season. Look at that. It's giving me all the fall feels. Pumpkin cream cold brew, pumpkin spice latte, and apple crisp oatmeal macchiato. Everything I love. Alright, this is so funny, but on top of my pumpkin spice latte, I wanted to get the Mickey pumpkin cupcake that they have. But when I went up to order, I said, can I have the pumpkin muffin? And I don't even know why I said that, but then when I picked up my stuff, uh, they gave me a pumpkin muffin. Like an actual, I didn't even know Starbucks had a pumpkin muffin. It's a pumpkin cream cheese muffin. And uh, instead of saying, hey, I wanted the cupcake, I decided, why not? Let's just try this pumpkin cream muffin. I feel like uh, trying new things is fun. It definitely didn't help that they actually gave me my pumpkin muffin in this little bag that says, boo to you, Nathan. Like, I can't turn that back. I gotta keep it. But look at here it is. This is the uh, pumpkin muffin. It's got cream cheese on the inside, so I'm not too sure how much I'm gonna like that. But I like pumpkin stuff. And then, of course, the pumpkin spice latte. Look at that. What we've come here for. Look at us, just hanging out. Got the pumpkin spice latte, the pumpkin muffin, a Mickey pumpkin. Life is good. We're hanging out in the hub area. I'm gonna try this little cupcake now though first. Let's, let's take the little wrapper off here. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, this looks really good. And like I said, it's cream cheese stuff. So there's cream cheese in the center here. Or it's just on top it looks like. All right, here we go. A bite of pumpkin muffin and a sip of pumpkin spice latte. That's where it's at. And would you look at that. I went for something I've never had before. Hi, how are you? And I ended up loving it. It's really good. The pumpkin uh, muffin is everything that I kind of like in a pumpkin muffin. I'm also teasing these ducks. I shouldn't be doing that. They think I'm going to give them the food, but I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm just showing it, little guy. Sorry, little ducky. This is what I was talking about. Just coming to the park, hanging out, drinking some pumpkin spice lattes having a cupcake not a cupcake a muffin and just relaxing but this did cost a price there was a there was a price to this experience and that was an hour <laughs> it's been an hour i came in i went to starbucks and i came here and we lost an hour so that's half of our time we're gonna have to make it up it's not starbucks i wasn't in starbucks waiting but i was talking to people just kind of hanging out enjoying the ambience and stuff like that and uh we lost an hour but we're gonna make it up we're gonna go
We're gonna take our coffee and get moving along here. Gotta get a lot done. We're gonna actually make our way into Adventureland. I wanna go check on Pirates of the Caribbean. Maybe the Enchanted Tiki Room. I think it would be fun either way. But uh, Pirates of the Caribbean is something I've been wanting to do for a while. So it might be a low wait time. Funny thing is, is during the party itself, they have live actors on Pirates of the Caribbean. I didn't get to do that the last time I was here because it was a rainy night and you were very busy, but I'd love to see it with the live actors again. I've done it in the past though, it is really fun. Looks like the wait time says 10 minutes. 10 minutes, not too bad at all, waiting that all day long. Look at that, we're heading right on in. Even if you were here for the party, you wouldn't want to ride right now because you would want to wait for the uh, live actors to come out. Oh my lord though, the AC feels so amazing. I can feel it from here. I need this, it's so hot. Much too hot. This is where the live actors usually hang out at. And they actually come down here and some of them go up top. Never seen the lights on up top here though. That's so cool. Oh, it actually has a little event guide right there. Can you see that? Looks like we got the back row. All the cool kids sit in the back. Pirates of the Caribbean was such a great idea. I definitely needed that to cool off. And now we're over in Frontierland, and I think I see the hoedown happening, so I want to go check that out. It's a really fun uh, kind of dance musical. I don't even know. It's a hoedown. That was nice. Thank you. Isn't that hoe down so much fun? I love it. Now I kind of want to see if we can get on Splash Mountain or Big Thunder Mountain. I'm really uh, pressed for time here. I'm running. I'm like kind of sprinting through the park, you know? Oh, take a look at this. The wait time just shut off. Oh no. We literally got there and they put the rope up because of the storm of Ruin. So no Big Thunder Mountain. And I think Splash Mountain is closed as well. So I don't know if we can do any of these rides actually. Oh yeah, looks like Splash Mountain's down too. So no luck over here. And we only have like 20, 20 minutes left, maybe 25. I can actually hear the thunder rumbling over there. So I guess a lot of all the outdoor rides are gonna be shutting down. So that means all the indoor rides are gonna have increased wait times. And we only have, like I said, 20 minutes left. I kind of feel like this is turning into a fail vlog, but I don't feel like it's a fail because I'm here. You know what I mean? Like, so like the whole entire day technically is, but I'm still just kind of going for it. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> nice. So I'm just like kind of just still having fun and going before it, you know what I mean? I didn't even think there was going to be a party. Well, I didn't even think to check there was going to be a party tonight. And then also, uh, oh, my muffin. I, I accidentally ordered a muffin instead of a cupcake. And then I go to run the rides or ride the rides and the thunder happens. What's next? We're going to get caught in a rainstorm? Maybe. Here is a look at the wait times right before the park actually closes. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, it says 25 minutes. Buzz Lightyear, 20. The People Mover, 20. Space Mountain, 20. Seems like uh, just about everything is like a 20 minute wait. That's actually not too bad. 
Haunted Mansion is only a 15 minute wait, but a lot is closed. You can see closed, 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 temporary closed, 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 temporary closed. So a lot of stuff. I want to actually attempt maybe going on another ride, but I don't think we'd make it. I don't want to push it to the very last minute before they start asking guests to leave. I mean, I really do believe we could have probably done Big Thunder Mountain and Splash Mountain if the weather wasn't in, like inclement, you know? And uh, I don't mind. I'm just happy that I got to come out to Magic Kingdom today. I mean, honestly, that's all I wanted to do. And I felt like maybe if I try to get as much done in two hours, I can put a reason to it. But you don't need a reason to come to Magic Kingdom. You just go. I suppose we'll just start making our way back out to Main Street and uh, make our slow descent out of the park. Slow walk out of the park. This video that I'm making today is kind of reminding me of like a vlog style kind of video where I'm just basically documenting my day in the park, you know, no specific thing. The only reason I really wanted to come out to Magic Kingdom today was to get a pumpkin spice latte. And I didn't know if I was gonna make a video or not. I do come to the parks a lot when I like not filming. I just like being here, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, it kind of felt like a vlog style day. And I haven't been doing a lot of vlog style videos. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. I don't even know if I like, talked about it really but most of my videos for like the past year have been all uh, like basically a topic like it's a topic piece I come into the park with a basic understanding of what I want to do like what I want to do what I want to show you guys and then I proceed to basically do it and uh, yeah today was kind of just like whatever I kind of want to do you know it's just like on the whim and now I'm thinking to myself instead of uh, calling a night maybe we should just go get something to eat maybe we'll uh, pop over to the Magic Kingdom Resort see if they got any reservations grab a bite to eat instead of just leaving you know I'm here already might as well just stay out and have uh, a little din din all right we made our way all the way to the train station it's time to actually head out like i said i wish i could stay but i'll be back i'm coming to another party uh, at least i got to come out and enjoy you know a little pumpkin spice latte on main street and just kind of the ambience of being at magic kingdom now we're gonna go get something to eat find a find some din din I think I'm gonna actually walk over to the Contemporary and uh, start looking around for dinner reservations. Maybe Steakhouse 71, maybe Kona Cafe, but I wanna go over to the Contemporary so that way I can get on the monorail there. I don't wanna take the monorail here. There's a lot of people going on it now. And uh, maybe hang out in the arcade, maybe get a massage. <laughs> I love walking from Magic Kingdom to the Contemporary. You get to see so many wildlife. Right now we have a gigantic rapper. Rapper? We got a gigantic rabbit right here. And I just saw a black snake actually slither in there. I wonder if I could see it if I get closer. It's probably way gone. A little, oh, don't want to scare the rabbit. Snake is actually going that way, but I don't think that snake is any harm to the rabbit. Also, I don't know if I mentioned how much I love the new Spider-Man shirt from Roosevelt's. Look at this. It's one I've never wore before and I'm obsessed. I'm really obsessed with this one. I decided to actually come in the back way of the Contemporary because I love coming to this side because you get so close and it's so beautiful. I always been a big fan of the Contemporary just from its design. It just looks amazing. All right, I think we got ourselves a reservation at Steakhouse 71. So maybe we'll try that Steakhouse 71 burger that everyone talks about. But we have a little time in between, so maybe we'll go and uh, hang out around the Contemporary. Like I said, maybe go to the arcade, sit down on the massage chair a little bit, do a little shopping, and just kind of enjoy the resort. It's kind of funny that I said that we're going to the arcade because right here, this is the game station. They have like these massage chairs there. You can see that one video over there says the Contemporary Resort. But if we're going to Steakhouse 71, that used to be the arcade. So how funny is that? For some reason, the Contemporary Resort absolutely loves these massage chairs. There are more massage chairs in the Contemporary than probably combined at every other resort. And I'm not even kidding about that right now. We've got one massage chair. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two massage chairs. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Three and four massage chairs. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I don't know why I'm channeling Count Dracula, but wait, there's more. And here is five and six massage chairs. Uh, uh, uh. I decided to come back to the arcade and go to the one that was in the far back. 
in the dark area, in the dark area of the arcade. But this is relaxing. Yes, this is nice. All right, enough of the massage chair business. Now let's go shop around in the stores. I love coming to BVG. This is one of my favorite little resort gift shops. Actually, I think it's the biggest one too. I mean, everything at the contemporary is just like extra. Extra space for some gift shopping and then also extra massage chairs. This is actually really cool. I've never seen this before. They have a Main Street Electrical Parade light up wall decor. This lights up actually and you hang it on your wall. And I think I love it. Wait, I wanna to try to turn it on. And I... That is really cool. Honestly, I feel like I need to get this. And also, when did they start making a Main Street Electrical uh, Parade magic band? But I like this so much. This is so, I wanna get this. I think I'm getting that. I mean, I really want to hang that up in my house. I don't know where I'm going to hang it up, but I just love it. I like the fact that it lights up. I think it's really, really cool. Also, if you guys didn't hear the sad news, they're going to be discontinuing the H2O product line. So sadly, all of my favorite resort soaps are going to be gone. But I don't think this one's the same thing. I think this is, this is gel or something. Oh yeah, cooling uh, aloe gel. I feel like I need to get that to add to my collection before it's all gone, but let me know in the comments. Are you guys going to be sad to lose H2O? I mean, I really love that product. I wonder if Disney's still going to keep it and just name it something different or have someone like kind of make it. You know what I mean? It was kind of a, a very big thing. Also, I feel like they just keep on releasing new uh, vault collectibles, like the things from the vault collection. Like, I haven't seen this shirt before. This is really cool, and I haven't seen this one with Goofy on the pocket. The only thing is, is I don't like this material because it looks too wrinkly. You know what I mean? But I do like these. I do like these. Look at this. This is fancy right here. That's some fancy shorts. <laughs> they also released the Disney Van series here, and I love all of this. I love the hat. Look at this. That is so awesome, and I love the uh, little hoodie here that's cool it's got it does it have all four parks on there or what does that have oh it's just the attractions i don't know how much they're selling these for though 69 dollars. that's not too bad at all and then even this one right here look at this that's a pretty awesome shirt the vans line all of it is really awesome i'm a big fan all right now i think it's time we head down to steakhouse 71 i'm starting to get a little hungry and we're closer to our reservation time all right, it's time to head on in now. We're gonna be joining up with a friend too, so I'm gonna wait for them to get here. Might as well hang out at one of these nifty little lounge areas over here. I love the new contemporary lobby. I mean, I know it's been like this for a while, but I did notice they got rid of the fancy pillows that used to be chained up over here. They used to have pillows. I think they were monorail pillows. And uh, I knew, I was like, when I first saw them, I was like, someone's gonna try to steal those. But then when I picked it up, I noticed it was chained to the couch, but now they're gone. So somebody probably cut those chains. Somebody definitely cut the chains and took the pillows. All right, we have made it into Steakhouse 71 and Kristen is here, right down Main Street. Cheers, you're gonna get mac and cheese? Mac and cheese to our video coming soon. All right, I'm excited. And out the burger too, huh? Yes, I have a challenge for you. You have to try a, a single noodle of my mac and cheese. I will try one noodle. <laughs> I love coming to Steakhouse 71 because I love their bread service, number one, but I also like all of the affordable entrees. Like, the steaks here are anywhere from $29 to, like, $38, and normal steaks at Disney Resorts would be, like, $59, $50, $60, so it's actually very affordable. Before we get to our entree, which I decided on going with the bone-in pork chop because I never had it before. They brought out some bread, and look at this. I love this bread here. It comes with that special 71 butter, and it's like a pull apart. This one's smaller than that one. Look at it. There's a size differential. It wasn't baked all the way. I call this one. You do, don't you? Ah! All right, I'm taking this one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just, it looks so funny, doesn't it? It's a whole loaf. It looks like a muffin. <laughs> I actually just enjoy pulling the bread apart though. Look at that, it's like pull apart bread. This bread is so good. It's a potato brioche and it's very salty on the top. And also I wanna point out that it's not complimentary. It's not a free bread service. It is something you would have to order. 
and it's kind of strange because you would think it would come out, but it is a step up though. You know what I mean? They do have the fancy butters with it, and you get two big pieces. But I do, I like it. I, I, maybe next time I'll try the shrimp cocktail though as the appetizer. All right, enough of the bread business. Here is the. 14 ounce dry age bone-in pork chop and look at that That is a hefty chop right there And I decided to get the grilled asparagus with it and the chimichurri sauce because that's like a really good sauce I don't like the other sauces you can get a sampler and then Kristen got the Mac and the burger. burger. This burger is so good. It's yep. my favorite at Disney World. That's the burger. But the mac and cheese, we got to know the review. I'm it. excited. I'll give you the review. Review coming soon. All right. Seriously, this pork chop looks phenomenal. It looks so big, too. I think this is the biggest cut of meat you can actually get on the menu. 14 ounces, but that is with the bone in it. But still, though, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to try it. I cannot wait to cut into this pork chop. Look at this, it just glimmers. <laughs> it's literally glimmering here. And we got medium. Oh, look at that. That is too good. All right, here we go, first bite. That's phenomenal. Wow. I'm going for a second bite already. Much too good. Kristen's going all in on that burger. Look at that. So good. First bite right here. You can get the burger though out at the lounge. It is on the lounge menu uh, and I think that's available all the time but here inside the restaurant it's only available on the lunch menu but if you ask they'll always give it to you. Back to the pork chop business. I have to say I'm not the biggest fan of the sauce that comes with it. Uh, I mean it, it's okay but the pork chop itself I feel like doesn't need any sauce. I do want to try a little bit of this sauce with it and see how it goes but this on its own could just be on its own. <laughs> just like all of the steaks, you get a sauce with the pork chop and I want the chimichurri. Mm. And that was the right move. Very good. Kristen is telling me I need to try the mac and cheese. I said I will try a singular noodle. There we go. That's the one. I'm not the biggest fan of mac and cheese. I know that's crazy. Uh, you guys know this already, but I am going to give it a try. <laughs> nope. Steakhouse 71 was definitely a good idea. I'm happy that we continued making this video today, and uh, it ended up being a really awesome day. Started off with something kind of not the way you would want things to go, and it ended up being a, a perfect little fun night. So we're gonna head home, see Gracie. Also, I wanna fill you guys in on the auction that I had, but we'll do that once we get home. Gotta go see Gracie first. I'm looking for a Dalmatian named Gracie. Where is she? What, 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 what? You excited? Gracie likes these treats too, so I'm gonna give her one of these. You want one? And she's gone. And with that, I think we are done here today. Gracie liked her treat. I had a fun little day. And, uh, oh, I wanted to tell you about the auction. So you guys know I was having a props and memorabilia auction uh, that I was doing on the WhatNot app and all the profits were going to give kids the World Village. Let me tell you something, it was phenomenal. It was amazing. I could not fathom this ever happening. Like. Honestly, it kind of was just giving me chills the whole entire night and 
I was just blown away. There are some amazing people out there. So thank you to everyone that came out and bid on items. Also, thank you to anyone that actually just joined in the live stream and hung out. I wish I was able to like read the chat a little bit more, but it was going by super, super fast. There was a lot of people in there on an app that I've never used before. And I don't even live stream that much, but it was so much fun. And we raised a lot of money for Give Kids a World Village, like a lot of money. I'm having whatnot is taking care of all of the, the financial end of it. So they're going to be setting everything together. They're going to be sending me all of the, the results and the money and everything, the donations. So as soon as I get everything, I'm going to actually send it. Uh, I'm going to post it probably on my Instagram story. I'll show you guys everything, but phenomenal. Thank you. You guys really, it was amazing. And honestly, like I said, I, I feel so like in touch with like give kids a world village because me actually going there as many times as i have and also like volunteering there it's really something that it, you know it, it pulls the heartstrings on me so i'm really happy to be able to do what i did and uh it's it's a great feeling and it, i couldn't do it without you guys too so honestly it really was it's an amazing thing i'm very happy but like I said, I'll be posting stuff on Instagram stories. Also, if you guys want to uh, learn about volunteering at Give Kids a World, I'm also going to be posting stuff along with a blank um, link. I'll put the link actually in the description in case you weren't making it to the auction. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description where you could donate straight to Give Kids a World if you wanted to. Uh, I set that up with them just a couple of days ago. So. Very cool, I'm very excited, I'm just very, very happy. We're definitely gonna do more of the whatnot auctions in the future, and thank you guys. Seriously, thank you so much. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.